All right. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome to Quarantine with Queen. You know it is Wednesday. And each every Wednesday, you and I are connected for a great conversation during this quarantine. And let me tell y'all something. I'm excited for two reasons. Number one, I have been doing Quarantine with Quinn every week since this whole thing started. And this is the first time I am bringing on a guest. And I'm excited because you know that I don't attach my name or brand to anything or anyone who, who I know who has not shown receipts, either with myself or with somebody else. So our special guest, her name is Shauna Scott, I'm going to bring her on in just a second, is really going to wow you, rock your, you know, rock your world, blow your mind when it comes to how you can really monetize and maximize these virtual stages. And I know for all of you who are waiting for the world to get back to normal, you See my quotation marks. You're leaving money on the table. There is money to be made right, right now on your cell phone, on Zoom, or whatever multi level platform that you're using. And my goal is to make sure that we have experts like Shauna who's going to give you some tips and tricks. And of course, if you want to work with her after today on how you guys can do that to make sure that you're monetizing your platform. So if you are just joining me, hey Robin, hey girl, hey, good to see you. My name is Quinn Conyers and I train Black women in business how to turn virtual conversations into cash so they can profit from public speaking. Hmm. Okay, so Sierra is saying that my sound is distorted. That's odd. I'm check. All right, Sierra, thank you. I'm not sure why. Let me move this back a little bit. Maybe this is a little bit better. Okay. Okay, well, hopefully that's a little bit better. I don't definitely don't want to sound distorted, so hopefully you're all good to go from there. But Robin says, hey, and again, I am excited that you and I are here together because we do have a special guest. And if you are looking to grow your own, okay, hold on. Let me see something real quick. All right, Monique, is this better? I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm hearing I'm having a little bit of sound issues. Is that better for everyone? Can you hear me okay? I just don't want to make sure. Sound underwater. Okay, hold on. Okay, is this better? Is this sound better? Static, what's going on? Jeez, please. Okay, so this is not better. Okay, I apologize. I am not sure what's going on with my sound. I feel like I was okay. Um, Okay, so there is a sound issue. Look at all this. It could be the headset. Um, um, okay, let me do this. Can you hear me now? Is that everything okay now? Is this better? Is this better? Still distortion static. Shoot. Um, uh, Okay, is this any better, everybody? Okay, so I hear Natasha saying, check your connection. I hear Gersha saying, static like. Oh my God. All right, technology is not being my friend right now. And I've done a million and one checks. Let me check my mic really quickly. Um, um, audio. I mean, do I look decent? I mean, do I look all right? My headphones for sure. Okay, is this any better? All right. Um, give me a second. I'm gonna try something else. Okay, is this any better? Better, better, perfect, okay. Goodness gracious, good thing for 
an extra set of headsets. Thank you guys for grace during the quarantine. <laughs> and Natasha says, I'm looking good. Okay, so I'm not gonna belabor this any longer. I got, listen, I got money waiting in the background and I can't make her wait any longer. But for those of you who are brand new to me, again, my name is Quinn Conyers. I know there's a bunch of new people who just joined the Speak Black Woman tribe. Thank you if you are a person, a black woman who is in business, who is also passionate about making a profit, public speaking, you are absolutely in the right place. So that is me, Quinn. But it's not just enough for me to tell you what I do. I also have to show you what I do. So watch this quick clip to really get to know who exactly is this Quinn Kanyas. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> Robin says, hey, now I know, right? Hey, Wanda, how are you? All right. I'm sounding and I'm looking good. Thank you so much. Don't worry. I will incorporate your comments as we go through this. But listen, I cannot wake her, make her wait another minute. Literally, I have money waiting in the wings to truly give you tips and insights. So if you have ever wanted to maximize, elevate, up level your virtual um, training experience, listen, I got you. You're in for a treat. So Shauna Scott is my very first guest on the Speak Black Woman Quarantine with Quinn. And she is an event strategist, an award-winning firm. Um, her, her firm is called Shauna Scott PR and Events. She has more than 20 years of working with individuals like you and me having five-figure and six-figure virtual and offline events. So she is not new to this. She's been doing this for a while. In addition, she has worked with her clients and her teams to generate over $1.3 million in event sales in 2019 alone. I'm talking about she has been the brain, the source, the strategic insight and energy behind people like me doing virtual events and live events and generating over $1.3 million in sales in 2019 alone. Like she's not playing any games. In addition to that, she's also working with clients and enrolling them and client attraction and overall taking care of those details after you get someone to say yes to your product or your program. So you tuned in for a reason because I see these numbers popping up and going on and on and on. So if you are ready to learn about how you can have a 10K day doing a virtual event, listen up, pay attention, cut off any distractions because Shauna Scott is gonna give you some tips and tools on how to do that. In addition, give you an opportunity to work with her if you want that type of success for your business. So without further ado, let me bring on a Miss Shauna Scott. Hey girl, hey, how are hey, you? Girl, hey, how are you, Quinn? <laughs> I am awesome and amazing now that I have you here to serve my tribe of wonderful black women in business. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. It's so great to be here, Quinn. What yes. So Gersha is like, I'm ready to learn. <laughs> People are on You're it. You're ready to earn, Gersha. Listen, earn. ready to learn and earn. So listen, if you are ready to learn and earn from Shauna, I want you to type in the comment box, learn and earn. Okay. If you are ready to learn and earn from Shauna, type that in the box. So I know that I just read your amazing bio, but I'm just curious, how did you get into being an event strategist for speakers and entrepreneurs who are having virtual and online events? Because there's a million things that we can do. Uh, most of us are multi-talented, but why is virtual and live events your thing? Well, great question. And actually <clears throat> what happened, I total by accident, totally by accident, I actually used to do regular weddings and um, events of that nature. And I, my business was feast or famine. So we were experiencing a famine and I went to work. Lo and behold, I went to work for a business coach as their event manager. So when I work with that business coach, our very, very first event, we made about $300,000. And I- Pause, 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 pause. 
We got to let that marinate. Did you just hear what she said? She said she worked with someone and their very first event. This was a live event, correct? This was a live in-person event. A in live in-person event. Mm -hmm. For $300,000. $300,000. I'm sorry, continue. I had to let that marinate just in case the people in the yeah. background didn't get it. Go ahead. No, li literally, <laughs> I stood in the back of the room with my mouth gaped wide open on how much money was being made and how many lives were being transformed. I knew at that point that I was in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. Money making events was my life, life changing moment. So she said money making events. So what she's not saying is, I know you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, $300,000, that was live. We can't go live right now. What can she do for me virtually? Right. So I'm about to tell you. So Shauna, I actually connected with her through Black Speakers Network, which is our brother organization. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you some more information about that. And like you, I was very nervous about entering this pandemic. And I knew that I was great live, but I knew that I needed to invest in myself to learn how I can navigate these virtual streets. And that is how Shauna and I began to work together. And I didn't have a three hundred thousand dollar, you know, day, but you're girl had a 10k day like in one day and i have to say that um i have to brush uh shauna's shoulders off because i don't think i could have did that on my own so three hundred thousand dollars that is amazing. amazing what do you say to people right now who are like oh my gosh i live for live what type of opportunities are out there for people to make money virtually oh my god it is totally in abundance as a matter of fact <clears throat> excuse me virtual events are outperforming live events and i will tell you why live events people had to buy hotel room mm. get their straight get their baby straight get airplane tickets and all this rigmarole right now clients are having to travel merely from the kitchen to their workspace to an event so they're online, everybody's online. We're in quarantine, everybody's online. <clears throat> and we just pretty much designed the event around virtual events and it is outperforming. We are reporting as event professionals, thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars in a single event. People are selling online. So actually, and the great thing about it, Quinn, and you can attest to this, mm -hmm. when you had your live event, you had lots of overhead. You had to pay the hotel. Yeah. You had to pay for your um, collateral. Virtual events, the profit margins are much um, larger and the overhead are much, much um, shorter. Yo, what are you having to pay for? Maybe StreamYard, maybe Zoom, maybe your email, mm -hmm. maybe your team. Very, very minimal. So the profit margins for virtual events are immense as well as the profit. And here's the thing, you're at virtual events, we're reaching more people. We're making more connections. I just signed a lady in South Africa. I would have never met her if this stuff hadn't had happened, if the pandemic, had, if the pandemic hadn't had happened. You know, everybody's online and we're connecting. We're connecting. So someone who may not have normally been to your event or normally mm -hmm. have reached, they're virtual. You reach them, they're in the room. All they have to do is click a link. Love it. And if you're just joining me, this is a special quarantine with Quinn. We're talking to Shauna Scott, and she is going to share with us some tips and tools and resources on how to have a 10K virtual event pay day. Events are her thing. She can do events backwards, forwards, eyes closed, toes crossed, eyes crossed in her sleep, and make sure that as you as an entrepreneur or speaker are profitable. So there are a couple of different things. Like, where should someone start if they're like, okay, I definitely want to have my very first virtual event. This is not something that I'm speaking on somebody else's stage, but I want to do my own master class or event. What are some tips that you can give for them to have a very profitable payday virtually? Absolutely. First, get it, get you an event strategist because mm -hmm. this stuff is a science. Mm -hmm. The thing that breaks my heart so much is if when I hear people say, oh, there's nobody at my event. I cannot fill my event. Ugh. Everybody's on the computer. You should be able to fill your event. Let me show you the strategy on how to get your event filled. Or they are having all these people in their events and they're cutting even or they're bleeding. They don't have any money. Mm -hmm. There's a science to it. So again, start with the event strategist. And if you do not have an event strategist, mm -hmm, 
But if you had to do it yourself, you want to start at the end. Look at your numbers. Start with the end in sight. What in a perfect world do you want to accomplish with your events? And that's exactly how I do. I have a <clears throat> a five-step event expedited formula, whereas in 12 weeks, we forex. You can make your whole entire, what your budget for the year in 12 weeks, a quarter, expediting your event. And first you start off with how much money do you make? And Quinn, you know, I'm all about making sure that we profit. What does the money look like? That's why I want to hear. Because Lots of times as event professionals, you know, we're used to people saying, oh, well, here's the flowers, you know, here's the um, hotel room. My thing is, where is the money? Where are we going with the money? All the event experience part, that counts a lot. But I want to know what, what, where, where's our goal? <clears throat> what holes do we need to fill and how do we get there? Event attendee experience. Now that's the decor. That's where all that go. But I'll stop right there because I'll go on and on. But Got it. the attendee experience has to be stellar. Got you. So a lot of times people are just doing events, but they don't even have a goal that they want to hit. So your suggestion is if you're planning a virtual event is to actually come up with a goal. If you're having a virtual masterclass or a summit, is your goal a thousand dollars, fifteen thousand, but just have a goal in general. Correct. Is that correct? Have a goal in general. Where do you want? And, and it's just like this. I'll, I'll use this as an example. And this may re be really, really elementary, but I just want to put an analogy here. Say, for instance, I want to go to Baltimore where you are. I'm in South Carolina right now. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do, I already know. I'm going to put in the GPS where I want to go. All right. And then luckily the GPS figure it figures it out. But mm -hmm. that's what you want to do, too. You want to say, hey, I want to go to. $25,000. What plan do you map out? Right now you're at zero. You want to get to 25K. What does in between look like? And as your event strategist, that's what I figure out. There's lots of things in the middle in between 25K and your zero or even $2,000. Say, for instance, you want to make $2,000, which if, if you were my client, I would say no. We're, we're going for 10 or 15 yeah. <laughs> because you're worth it. You know, lots of you ladies out there, you have this beautiful message that you have bottled inside of you. And it's worth millions. It's worth millions. You know, there's nobody can nobody that can reach your tribe but you. But all you need is an, a strategy on how to get in front of those people. And Quinn, you know, I tell you that all the time. You bring mm -hmm. flavor to your tribe. And the same as everyone. Everyone else is different. How do you find your tribe? Get them in the room. Transform their life. And as a matter of fact, make some money while you're at it. I love it. And what she's saying is you can't wing this. If you want to make $10,000, $5,000, $25,000, and if it's not your thing, if you've never done it live, what makes you think you're going to turn on a computer and do it by yourself, right? So you really want to make sure that you're not winging it. So it's like you do need a strategist, someone that can guide you. So let's talk about really quickly profit possibility. And for those of those people who are thinking like, there's no way, I don't know how, there's no way I can make $5,000 off of a virtual event or even $10,000 on a virtual event. Quinn can do that. Nathaniel can do that. Robin can do that. You know, some of these other people who are on can do that, but I don't even see that that profit is possible for me. What do you say for the person who's just like, yeah, this is just another something that someone's doing online to get me amped up. Like, how can we make this profit possibility a reality? How can someone truly make that type of money? And they think, I don't think I can do that. What would you say to them? I would say it's all about the numbers. It is all a numbers game. And one thing I do want to back up mindset. Also, we want to be careful with that as well, because here's the thing. If we're thinking that we cannot make the money, then you emit that. So when mm -hmm. you time for you to make an offer to your respective client, you'll be like, oh, she's not going to buy. And then she's going to feel your doubt and she's going to not buy. So you walk with it. Look, we're going forth. OK, my gift will make room for me. Mm -hmm. We have the ability to do what? Produce wealth. 
Everybody else is doing it. And here's the thing. They are no different than you. You have a powerful message just like the next person. But all the next person has that you don't have is that strategy. And I tell anyone who I'm working with, if they come to me and say, hey, Sean, I'm not making any money. I'm going to tell you what your problem is without even talking to you. Nobody knows that you have an offer. Nobody knows your name. So what do we do? We work to we strategize to make sure that you are appearing. And Quinn did just that with her event strategically. Every time she moved, it was a strategy. I knew where she was. Like, GPM, where you at? Where you at? <laughs> I mean, leads you got, you know, no one. And that's what we work on. It's you're totally, no one knows that you have this wonderful offer. So no one can buy it. Right, right. No, I love it. I love it. Shannon says, no winging it. Gersha says, uh, my gift will make room for me. I need a strategy. Um, KL said, that's a great statement. Nathaniel says, hello. Robin's like, yes, I'm all about the millions. They are on fire over here for you, Shauna. They are loving every second of it. Okay. Yes. So yeah, no, that's, that's good to know. And one of the personal things, because I, you know, I'm a client of Shauna, um, is what she taught me was how to look at every virtual speaking opportunity as a speaking engagement. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really see it that way. Like, so when I would do like podcast interviews or I would do like a, a 30 minute or 20 minute interview on somebody else's, I didn't see it as a speaking engagement. So she really just shifted my mind on how to look at this virtual platform. And now I'm seeing it different. I'm leveraging it different. And that's just because of Shauna's strategy. Um, so you might think, oh, it's just a podcast interview or, oh, my friend has this Facebook community and there's only 20 people showing. It doesn't matter. Like every time you speak is a speaking engagement. It is a speaking opportunity. Natasha says, um, strategy is key. Absolutely. So I want to have the cultural conversation with you, Shauna, because uh, I know for a fact that you had shared some things with me as we were talking that I think will be very beneficial to this group. And this is not speak woman. This is not speak all women. This is not speak Latina women. This is not speak Caucasian women. This is speak black women. So I got to talk to my sister girls for a second. And I want you to give them an insight into their greatness, because I know that you have worked with all different types of people. But I do know for a fact that our white counterparts are killing it when it comes to events. Can you talk to about how some of us as black women are leaving money on the speaking table by not really, you know, I guess leveling up in this business. Can you talk about that for a second? Absolutely. You know, I had the the pleasure of seeing how it all works, all different types of people, different diverse backgrounds. And what what I'm seeing is Yes, we as we as black women, we are not getting those strategy in, and even to walk away in a virtual event with five thousand dollars, even twenty five thousand dollars, we think is a major payday. My colleagues are reporting two point three million dollars in offers. Yes, in a single event, not a year, not two years, not three, in a single three day event. And it's all because of strategy, leveraging, and moving. Strategy, leveraging, move. for probably, no, I ain't gonna say that. Say it. Will say, now, I will say that our <laughs> messages are transformational. Mm -hmm. um, we get results. We are amazing. Quinn Conyers, that chick is absolutely amazing. She, I watched her at um, the her, one of the feeder events, which we'll talk later. Just ask me later what a feeder event is. <clears throat> I, I, our verse again together was a feeder event. That feeder event, I watched her. I witnessed her take someone's um, verbal. Okay, what do you do? They said A B C D. I watched her transform that client's verbal business card into something absolutely amazing and fulfilling took me it made me i'm in the background i'm like okay well what is that person that i want to buy that was amazing how you do, do that transformation it was amazing and everyone just pr pretty much got a tissue and we just cried all together just in the transformation we 
as black women, we are amazing. We are, I, I just can't, I, I just, I'm full right now. We are just, we, we have it. We have it. But for some reason, our Caucasian counterparts are making all of the money. And it just breaks my heart, especially when I hear, I mean, I, I talked to someone the other day and they said, hey, Shauna, you know what? I don't have X amount just to book you. I, I don't. They have a room full of people. And I'm like, there's no way you can have a room full of people. And I know it. And you're not making money. Mm -hmm. And I think the biggest thing is, and of course, you know that I have love for all different types of people, but there is a cultural, you know, disconnect where sometimes we know we're awesome and amazing, but let's just call it what it is. And this is me raising my hand. You are not alone. We're scared to charge at that level because we're asking ourselves, who's going to pay $5,000 for me? Who's going to pay $3,000? Who's going to pay $10,000 for me? Whereas somebody else might not have those naysayers in their head. Or it could be their own confidence issue. So they can go out there and just make an offer. Offer. But the biggest thing she said is you got to have an offer. So you can't just wish, hope and pray that somebody is going to sign up to work with you when you're doing these virtual opportunities and speaking is you have to make an offer for people to say yes to you. And how you get to those 5K, 10K, 25K days is how much is the offer? Is the offer $100? Is the offer $1,000? You know what I mean? Both can work out, but you just have to ask yourself, number one, do you have an offer? And I think from what Shauna was telling me is, you know, we're, we're great. We're also amazing what we do, but we're undercharging and undervaluing our greatness because we scared y'all. We are. Yeah. Be ye ready. What, what's your <laughs> offer? What's your offer? So when you're out there and you're giving your verbal business card and you let people know what you do, then what are you going to offer them? Yeah. Be ready to serve. That's what we do as messengers. We serve. Yes. Shannon says, yes. Gersha is over here saying strategy, level, movement. Um, Candace says, absolutely amazing. Um, Shannon says, we're scared to go to the next level. They're over here going crazy in the comments, uh, Sean. I don't know if you can see all of this. Yeah. But yeah, no, I think that's just good to say. And it's okay. Listen, Shauna and I, like, I, like, I know some of you think that I have it all together because I went out and got myself a little light kit and all that other stuff. Like, I'm still <laughs> learning and growing. And she's still, in my ear, reminding me, you know, of my greatness. And that's why I had to bring her on because sometimes you have to be reminded how awesome and amazing that you are because sometimes it comes so natural. And you don't think, well, who's going to pay me for this? Somebody will. Mm -hmm. There is a tribe. There is someone literally like waiting to throw you the coins when you ain't making an offer. So exactly. Mm -hmm. And lots, lots of time. What I hear is people say, oh, well, this is my passion project. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your passion project. You can make your passion project profitable. Yes. Seven and Wild Queen, how many years ago? Yes. Yes. You can make your passion project <laughs> profitable there yeah. is there is no there's no discourse there that is totally in alignment because here's the thing here's the thing you're you're right know your worth here's the thing about charging when you are profitable guess what you're able to do you're able to expand your territory you're able to give you know up you know to your favorite charity. You're able to take care of your kids. My my daughters play lacrosse, volleyball, basketball, travel, three or four different types of basketball. You know, you're able to get that home. You're able to hire that staff that can clone you, that will move you into another level to where you can do something else. You know what Oprah did when she got all her money, when she got all her profits? She opened she a school. Mm. She built an entire school. How many of us would love to do some a passion project of that magnitude to where you can reach all these people? She went and she bought the There's uniforms. Right. So, so pretty much when we are profitable, we're able to do that. We're able to start other businesses. Absolutely. So you know? Carmen is saying we have to walk in our greatness. Walk Gwen says, amen. D is like, you have to make an offer. Hold on, I'm trying to keep up with the comments, y'all. Sorry if I don't get everybody, but I see you coming in. So, Shauna, I know you probably didn't ask me for this, but I'm going to go ahead and put it out there. Go ahead. <laughs> you might have to do something. I don't know if this is a master class. I don't know if this is a freebie or even it's a Facebook Live. Is courage to charge. And the you reason why I'm saying no, courage. Wait a minute, hold on. 
Let's just stop. And she knows I stop her and embrace her and her genius. When she does this wonderful messaging that she does. That That is a superpower. Mm, is- you did tell me that. And you all have superpowers. And I think Zanika's saying, hey, she's from my hometown. Zanika and Zanita's, hey, girl, hey, they're from my hometown, South Carolina. So, yay. But I, but I want to say this. If you want to make more money, this is what you do. You're writing down, you mm-hmm. make more offers. Mm-hmm. And with the power of events, it's not you selling one to one. It's you selling one to many. Oh, that's my love language. Selling one to many. I had to drop the pen on that. That's what I like to do. <laughs> and that's why I love events because, you know, it's 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 freedom. It's empowering. I mean, and I've I've seen it, you know, mm-hmm. East Coast, West Coast, all these. It's it's liberating. Do you imagine you make a hunt, six figures in one weekend? Do you know what that could do? You could do that every quarter. I'll tell you something. If I make six figures in one weekend, listen, it, I just might be disrespectful. When? When? I'm going to claim that right now. When? When? Okay. So, yes, absolutely. So, Giselle has a really good question. I'm going to pop up really quickly. She says, you spoke about attendee experience. What are some of the things you can focus on to ensure excellent attendee experience? Can you talk about that for a second? Excellent question. Excellent. Thank you for asking that. For one, here's 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 my... okay. About to get on my soapbox. You're about to make a transformational offer. Let's say it's $2,000, $5,000, $10,000. Do not have your people come into your event when your registration is jacked up. Mm. And how many of us have been to events before where everybody's getting dressed? They're they're still setting up. That's what we work on. And the small things. Make sure Mm -hmm. that registration is organized. You're, you know, and if you have an issue with name badges, because I know how people are with their name, you have a contingency plan on. Okay, we can print it here on site. Okay, do, your doctor Quinn Conyers, and I forgot to put PhD on there. Some people are. You want to make sure that your people are accommodated. Because here's the thing: if you are jacking up <clears throat> the event, then why will people trust you and giving you two thousand dollars with their life? If you mm. registration straight, if they get to the hotel and they don't know where to go and the hotel attendees nasty and they say salon B and you went to salon F, mm-hmm. that's what I do. That whole experience when, and I'm talking about in live events right now, um, space, and I'll switch it over to virtual web. Whenever you, whenever that client gets into your pipeline, you want to make sure that they are taken care of because chances are you are going to do what? Make them an offer. And if you have everything smooth sailing, they know that they're going to have to pay for parking. They know that where they, where to go in um, at the hotel, they know registration is going to be good. They know that the um, F&B, food and beverage, is going to be taken care of. And they'll say, hey, Quinn is really taking care of us. You know, mm-hmm. and when she drops that $10,000 offer, they're going to run because they've already been taken care of. And that's why that attendee spirit experience is so important. And that's in live and even in virtual events. If you have your people coming to a virtual event, mm-hmm, then you mm-hmm. can be sure that you hold a, a pre-meeting before the virtual meeting. And we will be doing this. You know, you want to make sure that they do a tech check. Do you have any questions about how to raise your hand on Zoom? Do you have any questions about where the buttons are? No? Okay, well. Thank you. It's a touch. It's just all these little bells and whistles that we do, and but we're cognizant about. We as event professionals and strategists, we're we're making sure that everything is is taken care of because we want you to have a wonderful experience at the event because we want you to know when you're in our hand and you're in our care, we're going to take care of you. No, that's such a good point. And I people are robbing the snap, snap, snapping. I see, oh, such a good point. 
Um, Shannon's saying it's the small things when I make six figures in one weekend, they going crazy in these comments. And again, I think it's information that we just never thought about, or we didn't pay, you know, a lot of attention to now we're rocking and rolling. Can I get more, five more minutes of your time, Shauna? Is that okay? Oh, absolutely. Okay, perfect. So yeah, the reason why I think that that's just good to know is because we, we don't think about that. We think about, you know, just the very big things. And I tell people all the time, my best payday in person was nine people in the audience nine people in the audience. So it doesn't have to be extravagant, but I had a team in place to kind of ensure some of the strategies that Sean is talking about right now. So, okay, that is really, really good. So we have a bunch of people. Do you give, Gwen says, do you give PDFs or other items that attendees need? So <clears throat> I'll let her answer that, but just so you know, if you're like, oh my gosh, I need some more of Shauna in my life. Just so you know, she will give you an opportunity. If you want to learn more about her services on how you can book a discovery call with her, I know that Shannon probably has that link. So if you're already like, listen, sign me up. I can talk to Shauna ASAP. Um, if you can go ahead and drop that link in the comments, Shannon. So if anybody is interested in having a conversation about working with Shauna so she can really up level your virtual events and the same strategy you can use when the world opens back up, you can definitely book some time with her. But is there anything that she had asked that you give out to enhance the virtual you know, event experience? Absolutely. I definitely work with my clients to ensure that whenever the email sequences go out, that everyone knows every detail. So pretty much I give you all, I think I put the details together, make sure you have it in the email, overlook the email, the email goes out. So it is a nurture sequence that we provide support on. And um, depending on the event, it doesn't matter. Um, we're giving details. We're making sure the details are all connected, the whole piece of the puzzle connected. You as a client, you have it and it goes out through team. And as an event strategist, I lead that team. And mm -hmm. I do want to say to everyone, if you are planning to have a virtual event, there's a complimentary session, make sure you talk to me. I love this stuff. Make sure you talk to me. I will answer your, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Well, I definitely want to be mindful of her time. I see a couple more. If anybody has any other questions, um, let me know. So Shauna, as we are about to wrap this up, what do you say to the person who is waiting for the world to open up to have a live event? What would you say to them about having a virtual event like now within the next week, next week or month? Like if they wait until the world opens, are they leaving money on the table or okay. is this a great opportunity right now to, to make some money and change some lives? Again, everybody is on line there. Mm -hmm. And there are lots of people that are looking They're They're looking at the ocean and they're like, oh, my God, I'm going to wait until the waves go down. No, <laughs> jump in. that's what we as business people do. Business is. Taking business means you take more of a risk than you normally would make. You jump in, get help. Quinn is here. She's a huge resource. I'm here. There are other coaches here. Jump on. The world is changing. And here's the thing. And I told my daughters this. We don't know post COVID what the world is going to look like. We don't know if it's going to be back, you know, a whole bunch of, you know, gatherings or, or what you want to learn and and support as much as you can now because your clients are needing you. They're at home, they're stuck with their husbands <laughs> <laughs> and their children. And they're thinking, okay, my job now is not opening back up. They yeah. have, they are cutting my salary by 20. What can I do? I hear them, get them on your virtual event, provide them that support. Serve, 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 sell. Serve, 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 sell all day. And I'm going to let you know this as well is you got to start now with someone who can. <laughs> Why is my husband on? <laughs> my husband's on. <laughs> <laughs> so the funny thing about this whole situation, he's like, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. Yes, he is. He's on right now. One of the things I would say to you, too, is like this is the time for us to really invest in ourselves. I have probably invested in myself 
more in the last two months, husband, close your ears. I want you to hear this more in the last two months than I did in all of 2019. I have a PhD in professional development. And I believe that just because you graduate from high school or college or take one course or hire one coach, it doesn't mean the learning process stops. It just begins. So if you want 10K days or 25K days, it's going to cost you something. There's a reason why I ain't looking gray. There's a reason why I had to switch my earplugs because I want you to have what this Shauna say, a great experience. So I think Gwen, had asked earlier, yes, Facebook lives are events. This is all an event. You know what I mean? So Facebook Live, Instagram Live, LinkedIn Live, all those platforms are virtual events where you can be speaking and serving or speaking and selling or speaking and building community and building a tribe. So at the end of the day, you know, if you want this type of things, like it's going to cost you. It's either going to cost you money or it's going to cost you mistakes, blood, sweat, and tears. But either way, if you want phenomenal results, it's going to be some type of an investment that comes with that. Google University can't get into Shauna's brain. Okay. What she knows, you can't Google. It's through trial, error, experience, and seeing it. There's no way that you can Google a six-figure event in three days and come out with the knowledge and expertise that she has. So again, Shannon, if you can go ahead and drop that link, if any of you are interested in just learning more about her services and how she can serve you and having a profitable virtual event, I want to make sure that the opportunity is um, given to you. So uh, Shannon's going to drop that link in the box one more time. And then and we are going to do um, any last questions before I wrap this up. So, Shauna, mm -hmm. if someone right now is just like, okay, Shauna has got me excited. Quinn is really giving me some insight on really, <laughs> Natasha says everything ain't on Google. Um, giving me some really good insight. Okay, she, check your email. Hold on for one second. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> sorry she said she didn't have the link so i'm just making sure i was like i just sent that over okay she no. probably didn't um, hold on no, no. i'm sure you have it <laughs> right <laughs> in the back right oh no it didn't you're right sorry okay sorry about that shannon's about to drop the link uh check now I don't know how I did that. Okay, so yeah, she's gonna drop that link. And also what I will do is when this is done too, is there another platform too, Stacey? I'm not sure exactly uh, what other platform that you're talking about. Um, yeah, so this is always a replay. You can kind of come back on Speak Black Woman and you can um, listen to this when you want. Also too, um, I have tagged Shauna in this post promoting this out. So you can also message her, email her, throw a smoke signal up. She will get back to you. OK, she is serious about making these events. OK, so any final words for the person who is like, mm, I'm thinking about booking a discovery call with Shauna. I'm not sure if she can work with me or assist me. Um, what would you say to that person who's on the fence about booking a discovery session with you? Um, jump, jump over the fence, get off the fence, jump over the fence. There is there is abundance out here. Um, and events are extremely powerful and this stuff works. I can't say this enough. You know, there's there are people out here killing it, killing it on events. And if you are um, not selling right now, if you do not have an offer or you're looking for um, clients, definitely, and you are wanting to serve, then you definitely want to book a strategy session with me and I'll be more than happy to provide support. Got it. And, I can, and yeah, thank you for that. And like she said, uh, Shannon, go, she went ahead and dropped that link into the comment box. So if you're like, okay, she's got me sold. Um, and I just like to let you know, I've worked with Shauna personally. So this is not someone I just found and be like, oh, you do events? Come talk to my my peoples. No, she is trusted, true, verified. She got receipts. 
Okay. So as you know, for a fact that I would not bring her on if I didn't feel like she could serve you. I know that her message is timely. I know that um, there are people, Hey, Sharon, how are you? I know that there are people out there who have questions. Like I know that you're asking about email lists. Let Shauna have a conversation with you to see, um, because yeah. that is her area of expertise. So I don't want to tell you what you need to have or what you don't need to have. Um, she can work with you on that. So again, I just want to thank Shauna for her time and her attention. If yeah. either one of you are looking to grow your events, whether online or, you know, even in person, she is a great person to give you insight on how to do that. So again, that link is in the box. Go ahead and book your discovery session and learn more about how Shauna can serve you on having a 10K profitable online event day. All right. Thank you so much, Shauna, for joining me. You're I welcome. appreciate you. Thank you, Quinn, for having me on. You're you're so amazing. And you're, no you're such an amazing client. I'll tell you one thing about Quinn. Every time I said, Quinn, do this, she <laughs> did it. And she had success. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate that. So good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys next week. Don't forget each and every single uh, Wednesday, we do quarantine with Quinn every, um, every Wednesday at four o'clock with a different topic to serve you as a woman in business, as a speaker, or as an entrepreneur. So my goal is to make sure that no woman, especially no black woman is left behind. So any tips, resources, people that I know that can serve you or making sure that your voice is visible virtually and in person so you can profit from public speaking, I am going to bring them directly to you. No speaker, no black woman entrepreneur left behind. We are in this together. And I thank you so much for just allowing me to come into your hearts, into your homes every Wednesday at four. So again, if you are brand new to me, you just joined the Speak Black Woman Tribe. Again, my name is Quinn Conyers and I teach black women in business how to turn virtual conversations into cash so they can profit from public speaking on and offline. I will see you next week. Have a great night.